The Big Show here in Las Vegas and on the program we try and talk to big stars and big personalities and try and find you things to do here in Las Vegas and if you come here to the Mirage not only can you see Love by the Beatles and Cirque du Soleil you can also come and see some unique personalities and characters and I'm delighted to talk to Jim Hudson who's the curator and uh, caretaker basically here at the Dolphin House. Thank you very much for talking to me. Thank you Alex, how are you? Well who'd have thought I'd be sat here in Las Vegas talking to you about dolphins but this is what Vegas does. It surprises us around every corner and I've said this already in the program but you've got a terrific job what an amazing job you've got to be outdoors all day with these phenomenal animals just so beautiful and intelligent and you get to work with them congratulations well thank you very much it is a unique opportunity for me to come here and work with these six Atlantic bottlenose dolphins outside playing with them all day teaching the public about how wonderful they are uh, jumping in and out of the water uh, every day is different. It's, it's quite the experience. It really is a lot of fun. Now, you've been here nine years at the Mirage with these dolphins. They're like your babies, really. You seem to know everything about them. Of course, they have names and they have personalities. Yeah, some of these animals I've been with since birth, uh, they all have different personalities. They all have different names. Duchess is the, the older female. Lightning, another older male. Uh, Maverick, Huff and Puff, uh, Sergeant Pepper, and Little Bella, our newest member. And of course, it must be an incredibly exciting time when your breeding program works, because that's something that you're big on here, is the education and research and development with the dolphins. What an exciting thing that must be. It doesn't happen very often, though. Our main goal is to educate uh, about these animals and conservation. But above that is the care that we give these animals. That's our highest, our, uh, our highest focus. And yes, our breeding, breeding program excuse me, breeding program has been quite successful. Of the six animals we have here, uh, four have been born here. Which is really staggering, and I think it's testament to how you care for them. What I was surprised to learn is that they don't need things in the pool, they don't need to be excited with anything other than their caretakers and people who care for them, play with them, and even as we sit here now, there's guys all around them and they love that. Yeah, they do like the interactions more than anything. Uh, we do have nine trainers that interact with them all day long. We have uh, an interesting program called Trainer for a Day. They get to see new people sometimes. Uh, we have another program called a VIP tour, which allows people to come and, and meet the dolphins uh, briefly, but they still enjoy that uh, environmental enrichment. It must be fascinating for you to watch how they interact with different people. They must have their favorites as much as you have yours. I'm not sure if it's favorites, but as much as it is uh, relationships that each, each of us has with the dolphin, uh, we like to adequate that to uh, a, a seasoned professor or a seasoned teacher, and then you have a substitute teacher comes in, and the class is going to look at the substitute and probably know where, to, where they can get away with certain things. And it's the same with the dolphins. It's interesting. You're like parents, creators of, of animals. You will never say that you prefer one more than another, but you, but you must do, because there's going to be some that are going to be warmer, there's going to be some that want to come to you more. It, it's so interesting that you won't ever pick a favorite. If you, uh, are you a parent? <laughs> I mean, because if you, if you are, you'll understand that there, at, at certain times you're going you're gonna to prefer to <laughs> be with one and the other. Um, the most interesting dolphin we have here, would, I would have to say, would be Duchess because she is so, she's one of the older ones. She's 30. These animals can live between 25 and 30, but that's that's an, um, an average age. These animals are, they're still an animal in captivity in Florida that's over 50. Duchess is very healthy, but she's also um, very experienced. She's very wise. She's, she's, She's one of my favorite animals to watch when new trainers come in and, and want to learn how to work with these animals because she's seen it all. And uh, my, my relationship with Duchess, uh, I feel, is pretty unique. Thank you. So there we go. There's your favorite. Although we won't say out loud in case of the other dolphins here. We're just in the backdrop of the Mirage Casino and Hotel. I mean, it's within walking distance. It must be odd for you to have such an amazing, unique habitat for these animals on the side of a casino. You wouldn't put the two together, would you? Well, when I first heard about it, it, uh, I, th I thought it was very unusual, but when I was able to visit the, the, the habitat many years ago, I, 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 was, I was moved by its size, uh, the amount of filtration to clean the water that existed, and then I was even more impressed 
by the support that we do get from the MGM Mirage people. I mean, they are behind us 110% all of the time. They don't hold anything back for the care of these animals. That's because we all love them. We all love dolphins. I was just over in the aquarium uh, at the Mandalay Bay earlier. It's harder to love a shark than it is a dolphin, although they're fundamentally the same thing. Yeah, yeah, but the, the sharks don't have the nice little smile on them that, that the dolphins do. It's true, isn't it? Jim, I've just had a note passed to me by my producer. Apparently one of the dolphins is not happy, and they want to be the star of this interview, not you. What does this mean? That means we better go listen to what she has to say. Who are we going to meet? We're going to meet Duchess. All right. Do you know how to swim? Uh, well, I'm going to learn, I feel, very quickly, because <laughs> this is a huge tank. How big is this? This pool is nearly a million gallons. And what we're doing right now, Greg just called our dolphins to come over to ask them to play with us. Duchess is going to swim out. She's going to slide out. Duchess is looking at you, Alex. She's saying, wait a minute. We woke her up because she was having a nap before this, wasn't she? I feel bad. No, no. She, she saw Greg coming and now she wants to interact. So what do you want me to do? I want you to go up there, wiggle your fingers and see what she, see what she tells you. All right, here we go. Then. So we're walking over to Duchess now. Wiggle my fingers. See what she's going to do. <laughs> <laughs> Greg's here with me. What a great job you've got. Thank you. I do have a wonderful job. <laughs> do you enjoy this? I enjoy it very much. Well, wasn't that tremendous? Jim, thank you so much for that. What a real thrill. And what a great singer. She should be on stage. I mean, really, there must be a showroom in Vegas where she can perform. I don't think there's a showroom big enough for her. <laughs> Jim Hudson is one of the uh, top men here at the Secret Garden. And thank you so much for this rare opportunity to meet the dolphins. And uh, if you do come here to Las Vegas, this is one of the few things that you will remember forever. A true treat here at the Mirage. Come and see love and then see the dolphins and then say hello to Jim. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Alex.